Gentlemen, today we are going off grid, or at least my studio shop is. I have here the brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra X. This is their biggest, baddest home system. I've got everything prepped. We're gonna build it out today, plug it in to see, will it run all of the power needs that I have here, which are pretty big demands. I've got a lot of studio lighting. This is the main place I work in the winter time, as well as the main well pump, which is a deep water pump 240 with high power spike demands that feeds our entire house. Let me show you the panels, all the prep work I've done, then we'll build out the kit, plug it in and see, well, we'll, we'll stress test it. Most of you are familiar with the Delta Pro Ultra system that we put in Cozy Cabin. That was a full backup off-grid system uh, to power up everything in the event of an outage. That system had a small sub-panel that plugged in or worked with the existing panel. What's new and different about this is that this is a complete 200 amp capable standalone panel with 32 circuits. What makes this different than the panel you have in your house is that this is a smart panel, which we'll talk about once we get it hooked up. Now, how we interface, how we get the power into this is right here. This box here is the input or the inputs for the Delta Pro Ultra system. This is what will plug in and feed power to the system, completely powering the shop with the batteries alone, independent of the grid. What you and I are gonna be installing today is going to be the head unit, which is the inverter. This is 120 and 240 and two big batteries. Now, how much power is contained in these batteries? Well, these are both 6KW, so 12KW together. This is basically just a starter kit, and this can be built up tremendously. How much power is in one of these? Well, it's pretty much the equivalent of three Honda 2000s. We are gonna be installing two, but you can have a maximum of five batteries per trolley with a total of 15 batteries for the full maxed out, fully loaded system. Battery number two. Now these combined are 12,000 kW. The final piece of the top cap is the brains of the system. This is the full inverter. All right, now let's connect everything up. Each battery comes with a jumper. And this is how you connect the power between them. It's, it's truly idiot proof. You can have a basic, or you can have no understanding of electricity and hook these systems up. And each battery you wanna add, if you wanna expand your system, you simply stack one up and put another jumper on. These have locking plugs or pins in here, so let's lock those so they don't accidentally come unplugged. EcoFlow is doing a really nice job with this hardware. My electrical inspector just left and him and my electrician who installed the sub-panel uh, was commenting on how nice this stuff is, the quality is. My electrical inspector said, man, I'm gonna put one of those in my house. The inspector is a pretty good dude. He lives not too far from here. I'll bet he was here 15 minutes or so after he signed off on everything, just looking at it and asking questions and wanting to know more about it. Should we give it the old smoke test? Oh, this is a new screen. This is more colorful than the other one we had. So what you're looking at here, this is a standalone system as it sits, 240 power, 12 kW, 12,000 kW, and it has, what we got, two 11030s, or two 110 pi 20s, this is a 30, and then this is the big 240 outlet. So you can use it by, it, by itself. Also, I noticed here that we have full Multiple, multiple solar inputs, two solar inputs there. So we can hook it to solar and then the cooling fan. And that's basically it. But what we're going to do, we're not gonna use this. We're gonna plug it directly into the studio with this main big port right here. Now we're at 28% charge, but that's fine. Uh, we, we, we can find out what it'll do with that. And, and we'll also find out and see how quickly it charges. What's cool about these systems is once you get the panel installed, you're gonna hire an electrician to do that. Maybe you do it yourself if you wanna pull the permit. 
We have about $1,500 in having a professional come out and have it professionally installed and inspected, tied into the house, ready to go. Once that's done, everything else is on you. All it's, it's no more complicated than plug, plugging in an extension cord. The reason for the three plugs is if you want to expand the system. As this sits with two batteries, that's 12 kW. If we were to max this rack out with five batteries, that is 60 kW. And if we have three of these, that's a total of 180 kW. That's enough to run any house for an extended period of time. But once your electrical work is done, you take this, plug it in, and plug in to the inverter. Lock the plugs. Wheel it into place here. Oh, we are already charging. 700 watts, 7,000 watts. Goodness, I didn't even realize it was charging. I guess it should, we just plugged it in, right? That's what it's supposed to do. So it says here, so we were at 25% when it was shipped. The, the recharge time to get it up to the full 100 is one hour and 14 minutes and it's charging 7,000 watts. Now we are feeding this, this shop, is fed with a 100 amp service. So that is a lot of power. So I can expect to recharge this thing under two hours from flat. How cool is this? Complete off-grid independence when the power goes out and where we live, that goes out a lot. All right, let's test it. So the, the vital things that I have going on in here are one, I, I need to work in here. Uh, a lot of studio lights, as well as all of our comm system, all of our big radios are all powered off this, but more impo importantly, the main well pump that feeds the water to our home is here. And if the power, if we don't have power here, we don't, you know, there's no water in the house. So this has, or should, we're gonna test it, it should have plenty of power to run even that deep water well pump. What I'm gonna do is I'll leave the camera running here so you guys can watch the switch over. I'm gonna go over to the supply kill the supply power to the shop and let's see if this transfers over and if indeed it will run all of the high demand items that we have out here. Back in the shop, the camera's recording the Ultra X. I've got you on my phone here. This is the house panel. This is the main panel that feeds 100 amps to the studio or the shop right here. So we're gonna we're gonna act like the power's cut off. Three, two, one, dead. So there is no power running to the shop. Now we can go see what's, what's going on. Did it work? It worked. The whole shop, all the lights are on. Yeah, look, so this is the router. I just, it was no more than 30 seconds from when I flicked that switch. The router's still green, so what that tells me is the power transfer was so fast that it didn't even trip or turn off the router. You know, like you'd unplug it and the light would turn yellow until it resets, so it must be instantaneous. And now we got everything running. Everything. Well pump, all the lights. Man, that is cool. That is really, really cool. And on the input there, I noticed that red light came on to tell us that we are, that there is a fault with the grid. That was white when we had power to the shop coming directly to it. Now, just for fun, let's see how low we can get this. I wouldn't be running all these luxury items and lights in a power outage. Let's just go down to the critical things and see how much we can save. I'll turn off the studio lighting. I'll turn off the battery chargers. I'll turn off the overheads. By shutting off all the extra stuff and just leaving on the essentials, which are a couple of small lights, our internet, radio comms, and well pump and computers, we went from, what was it, 2,000 down to 700 kW, so more than half by economizing and just being, kind of being careful with it. So that's gonna increase runtime dramatically. That's really interesting. I, I never, I didn't really think about the benefit or uh, of knowing, uh, being able to control individual circuits and just to see what's going on and see where your power draws. It kind of gives you, you just don't know. I mean, I get, you get the power bill 
and you know, is it what, what's going on? How do you know? But now with the smart panel, you can isolate it. But one thing that's going to be really nice, going to help to offset the cost of this, is that this system has the ability now to buy power when it's on sale, meaning in the middle of the night off peak hours. In some places, power can be a third or a quarter less if you're buying it or using it in the middle of the night. So these systems are designed to, you can use this all day long and draw off of this battery, supplement your power or draw off it completely when power is really expensive at peak hours. And then at nighttime, this thing will know once you, feed, you, know, once you set it up, will know when power is cheapest Whoops, I turned it off. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, my light, my battery died on my studio light. <laughs> Chunk a new battery in. Good as I'm in the dark. Okay, so I, I have a battery powered studio light that the battery went dead. So you can fill this thing up at peak hours. And, you know, and like we saw, this whole thing, as it's configured right here, could probably be charged in, in, inside of two hours. And that's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna offset the cost. This thing will pay for itself after not too long by just doing that. So that's a really nice extra benefit uh, as well. Uh, the other thing is we looked at Tesla walls. Tesla walls, I think the quote that we got for a Tesla wall, that's a Tesla battery that mounts hard to your house and ties in a similar system. And it was about $35,000, dollars $36,000. A Generac system with a backup propane or gas generator, that was quoted like 25,000 right there. And the problem with those systems and what, they, what does not appeal to me is that you buy that and you move and you're not taking that with you. All that investment staying there. What's so cool about these is that you can start small and you can build and not only that, but you can take it with you. You know, I'll tell you the truth, if I was going to build a van or have an RV, there is no way I would do a dedicated system in there like I've done in the past. I would buy one or two of these batteries, probably one, this inverter, and I would put that in there. I mean, if you need to, you can take this, unplug it, and take it with you. You have a complete standalone system. And if you don't have all of the coin to get as much power as you want, well, start with a smaller system like this. Start with 12KW, and this is gonna run your house if you economize a little bit and incorporate the smart panel to isolate the really important circuit circuits. This is gonna run you, you know, eight to 12 hours, maybe even push it to 24 hours to keep those vital things going. Maybe your furnace, maybe your well pump, and definitely your refrigerators. So it's a no-brainer to me. It's less money. It's gonna recoup its money because now it's got the smart system. It's gonna be buying power cheaper and you're gonna take it with you. You could take this camping if you wanted to and have, I mean, goodness, can you imagine taking this and one of these batteries or both of them? You're gonna have powers for, for days. The first thing that I'm gonna do this spring is I've already ordered them is solar panels. All I have to do is put my solar panels up. I don't have to hire anyone to come out, no electricians, plug them right in the side and I'm good to go. Even in a pinch, if you don't want to invest in them right now, you could get the fold-out solar panels like we used all summer, plug those in here, now you're going to feed power back into it. So I'm really, really, really stoked about this. This is a super, super nice system tied in with this and so simple to put in. I mean, really, once you get this portion done, and as I said, you know, you're going to be 1,200, 1,500, I'm guessing, like we did to get this installed, that's all there is to it, and then you're done. You're, you're good to go. So I am very, very happy about this. Now we're up to 7,000 watts. The battery's at 34% with one hour and nine minutes to a complete charge. So I have to say that that is a completely successful install and very, very cool systems. In the future, what I'm gonna do is I will most likely, I may or may not resize this, meaning add a couple more batteries to it if I need them, and I'm very, very keen to get the solar on there. So I'll put the solar panels up and I'll bring you along for all of this and we'll see what the input is. We live at the 45th parallel, so we, it's not the ideal place for solar, but we are powering several other buildings with it and it seems to work just fine. But this is a neat, neat system. And the fact that it's modular and you can take it with you and you're not just locked in by a generator bolted down to a concrete pad, a Tesla wall that you're gonna have to leave behind and walk away from that $36,000 investment is very, very appealing. Also, you don't have to upfront everything at once. This 12,000 kW setup, the two batteries with the inverter, 
is it a nice price point and is it a good place to start? And this right here for most homes is going to be enough for your needs. I mean, power, how long often does your power go out? Is it out for more than 24 hours? Not typically. So having this system just by itself, I think is probably more than adequate for what we need to do here. So I'm very excited about that. I'll put links to the system that we're using. If you're building a brand new house, I would strongly, strongly consider going ahead and installing an EcoFlow panel. It's going to, the cost is very similar to a regular, like a Cutler hammer, but now you've got a smart panel that you can, you can track with your phone and tie in with one of these systems. And this is just so, so far advanced over anything that we've had before. I yanked out the old dumb panel, put this in, and what a difference, what a difference. Just the design of it, the aesthetic, and just the build quality. I cannot tell you how many times my electrician, as he was, you know, he was trying to figure all this out. He hadn't seen these, a lot of these before, and he was just so impressed with just how good it was built and the quality, and the inspector mirrored all of that. And inspector even said, man, I'm gonna seriously look at one of these for my house, because we lose power all the time. I am, I'm just a big fan. I'm very, very happy. I'm so excited, and I feel very fortunate to be working with EcoFlow. We've been with them for a long time. I have watched their products go from Gen 1 up to Gen 2 and Gen 3 and various different things, and they just get better and better and better, and they're just great people, and I am just geeked over this system. This is, it gives me the fizz. I'll put links below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, I'll be in the comments. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers, and we'll see you guys on the next video.